there was a period after Darwin when there was tremendous interest in the natural world and those who could afford it were clamoring to get examples of, of life and uh, to put on display in many cases in their homes. It's historically important in revealing to us how people learned about the natural world. Most people know the Blaschkas as the people who, f who manufactured the glass flowers. Before they started making glass flowers for Harvard, they made a variety of other things. They used to make glass eyes, uh, but also they started manufacturing glass invertebrates, and they used to sell them through mail-order catalogs. The models were acquired by the uh, Museum of Comparative Zoology in the 19th century at the behest of uh, either the first director, Louis Agassiz, who founded the Museum of Comparative Zoology in 1859, or his son, Alexander, who succeeded him as director in 1873. Both Louis and Alexander were tremendous marine zoologists, and it's very understandable that they would have wanted to accumulate a tremendous number of these things. They served the same purpose as did the glass flowers. When undergraduates were taught here as a means of showing them living animals and plants, the faculty in those days typically would show them models. When we first started assessing the models that the MCZ owned, I was told there were about 60 or 70 models. So we started going to each one of the departments and uncovering what they had there. Some departments had them on display, but other departments had them very carefully wrapped up and tucked away so they couldn't get uh, harmed anyway. When we started uncovering them, we kept on finding more and more. It took us about six months to completely go through the different invertebrate departments to find them, and it ended up being a total of 430 models. We realized that we needed to do a more in-depth assessment to see what kind of detailed conservation work needed to be done. And a woman named Elizabeth Brill came to us highly recommended. She actually had familiarity with these invertebrates themselves, which is very useful when you're talking about finding a tentacle and trying to figure out exactly which animal it belongs to. In working with about 1,100 of these objects now, I find that there are little bits and pieces that have been tucked away in envelopes and bottle caps and little plastic boxes. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. The tricky part about working with these models is that they're all made differently. They were made over the course of 25 years, and the two men who made them were working in different ways from one another, and they were using different materials. The marine critters have mostly colorless glass with paint on top, and that presents all sorts of other conservation questions and treatments and um, ways of approaching the object at all. And the, the flowers are, are different from that and have a lot of color in the glass themselves. It's really about evaluating each model as I come to it and treating it as a new object. It's provided a wonderful opportunity to do chemical analyses and other research about the materials that the Blaschkas used. One of the most exciting analyses was we took x-rays of, of a handful of the objects. In the x-rays you can see the, the wires inside the glass that the, that the glass is formed around in certain instances. It's a magnificent example of being able to see the, the glass that has lead in it in the composition of the glass versus the glass that doesn't have lead in it, the soda lime glass. So in one object they used two different kinds of glass in three different ways. A lot of people know what an apple tree blossom looks like. So you go in the flower display here and you see an apple tree blossom and you're blown away at how similar this is. You can be six inches from this thing and, and not believe that it's made of glass. These things are made for educational purposes. And being able to say to people that parallel with the apple tree blossom works for this sea cucumber. If you see this in the ocean, it looks just like this. And it's a, an amazing teaching tool. Just amazing, these things are still doing what they were made to do.